in this video let us uh, try to implement a practical uh, problem here so the problem says that write a python program that takes input from the user and uh, details of multiple students like uh, the student details are name age and gender and stores the information in dictionaries and finally we can display that fine so here what do, uh, we are going to do here so let's say there is a class is there and in the class let's say there are five students are there so previous videos what we have seen there is we can create one dictionary and how to work with that dictionary with some values so if there is a student we can create that what is the name of the student we can create what is the age of the student or gender of the student or anything like that but practically in a means if i want to create something a database then one student is not there there are multiple students fine so here let us uh, take an example that some uh, let's say two or three students are there so if it works for two or three students it will work for a number of students so we'll try to create one uh, data set in which we can have the details of different students and then we can uh, display that as well fine so let us start the program so first what what i need to do basically i want to create a list of student fine so for that i will create a blank list first and then inside the list i will put the student details that is what the idea here is so first i'll uh, uh, what we do we will create a blank or empty list we can say so how to create a list in my previous video you can see how to create a list so let me write student underscore list just write just a variable and that is equals to i'll just write a simple empty square bracket so what it will do it will create a empty list for me and inside the empty list i can keep on adding or keep on up appending the student details fine so next is i'll ask that what is the number of how many number of student you want to add so for that i'll create a variable let's say i'll write number of students number underscore students i'll write and here what i'll do i'll ask the user to input that how many number of student details you want to work so how many numbers means it is obviously integer it's a count so for that i need to write integer and inside that i'll write input okay so what i'm going going to do here i'm taking the input from the user and converting that to integer because i know it's a number fine in the bracket i'll write a message so the message is like enter the number of students fine so this line what it will do it will ask the user that so it let me write here so it will ask the user how many students are there okay so once i know that uh, how many students are there so what i need to do for each and every student i need to create a dictionary so for that if there are let's say two or three students are there then i need to create a for loop and for every student i need to create a dictionary so i'll start a for loop here so for i i is a variable that i'll use in for in, in place of i you can use anything else so i in where in the range which range so i in the range of so number underscore students okay so in this range i want to create all the very all the dictionaries okay so i in range number student means it will count that how many number of students are there and for that much time it will run the for loop for me right so here i'll write print i just want to print a message that uh, how means uh, enter the uh, student details okay so enter the student detail means how to do that i'll write f then uh, i'll write a colon here then forward slash n so why this is required every time i will create a new line there so for that it is written then i'll write enter the details of student and in uh, let, let me write in bracket i plus one okay so what it will do so it will ask me uh, enter the uh, details for the student one student two student three like this it will ask me in this print statement i'll write that okay so next is after that i'll ask the user to enter the details so what are the details first detail is let's say name name is a variable i'm taking and here i'll write input input the name here so i'll write enter the name fine so next one more uh, thing i want to take from the user that is age 
So age is what age is the integer. So I'll write integer here, and then inside that integer, I'll write input, and I'll put the message there. Enter the age. Okay. So now what else? I need to enter the gender as well. So I'll take a variable gender. Gender is a character. I know. I no need to convert that to integer. So I'll write input, and I'll put the message. Enter the gender. Okay. So uh, I can write in bracket here also that. Okay, enter enter the gender. Let's see. Now I have three variables here, and I want to create a dictionary out of that. So here, I'll just create a dictionary from the above variables. That means for all other all these variables, I want to create a dictionary there. So I'll create a dictionary which is a student. So student dictionary. How to create a dictionary? Just give a curly bracket. So dictionary is done. And in the dictionary, let's say the first attribute or the first key is name. So I'll write here name. Fine. And what is the value? So value we are uh, we have already taken the value here. So for that I'll write name here. That means name is the key and the value I am giving that to whatever value we have taken from the user here. Now I'll write a comma here and then what we'll do? Another attribute is there, another key is there, which is age, and age value is what we have taken the input as age from this statement. So I am in entering the age here. Fine. Then what we will do? Uh, another input is there, that is gender. So I will create another key that is gender here, and what is the value to that? Value to that is gender that we have taken as the input here. Fine. Now here the Uh, dictionary is created, and this dictionary, when it is created for each and every student, I want to put that where I want to put that in the student list. So here, what I will do? So to the student list, I want to add this dictionary. So I'll write here student, okay, underscore list that I the list I have created there. Dot append, append what? Append the Student dictionary. So every for loop, one student dictionary will be created, and it will append that to the student list. So if I run this, so let us see what is happening. It is asking enter number of students. I'll take let's say two students are there. So enter the details for the number of student. Student one. Okay. So let's say name. I'll take uh, some uh, my name. I'll take. It is asking the age. Let's say take twenty five. Then the gender. Let's say take M or male. Then it is asking enter the student details for student two. Fine, so because I have taken total number of students too. So enter the name. Let me take uh, uh, 